Gosh dang it, I keep freaking leaving my showcase areas. Uh, does, oh, oh, does anyone remember know where my showcase area is? I only have this diamond sword, a repeating command block, and an ender pearl. I don't know what to do. I think I saw something over here. Let me ender pearl over there. Ah! Uh, yes! Oh, yay, guys! I, I finally found my custom command mod pack area. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, RP Brian. Today, we are going to be making another custom command mod. Sorry for the pause. S custom command mod pack video. In today's episode, we are going to be working with, um, sorry for the accent. We're going to be working with three new mobs. This is going to be sort of a short video because I'm just going to be showing that, um, I'm just going to be showing these new three mobs and pretty much going to end the video there. So, subscribe to Diamond Sword and let's showcase the first mob and its abilities that I'm thinking about. And while we're doing that, let's do time set day so we can do this. So this mob is the first new mob. It is the old slime mob. It is a glowing t size 10 slime that will spawn in, in your plains biomes, I believe. And he has 100 health and he has haste and speed. So you guys need to look out for this guy. So if I can, I'll just kill this guy. Boom, 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 and boom. Kill all of this, kill the first slime, and yeah, that's pretty much that guy. So we need to add, like literally, he's pretty boring. He's just a slime with some special effects. So what we need to do is we need to make some new effects for this guy. So let me kill these slimes, and we'll get back to it. So we're going to add a repeating command block. So we're going to do execute at, I'm sort of a slow typer, that's okay. Tag equals old slime king. Oh, whoops. Old slime king. Coordinate, coordinate, coordinate. Execute, let's see. Execute at P R equals, let's see. Five blocks, I'll tell you what it is. Boom, boom, boom. Summon slime. It's gonna summon in a slime if you get in range of five blocks of this mob. I really wanna see how this turns out. So, boom, let's make it one block, shall we? Always active, and let's see how this thing works. Boom. Okay, so the slime is in. I'm not really expecting it to work. If it works, that's really fun. So, Ooh, okay, so it does work. So look, that's really cool. And I'm thinking I might add some more abilities to this guy, like not just summoning in slimes everywhere. I mean, it's fun, but I mean, it needs like a like a like a like a potion ability. Like the slimes, that's really cool. That it summons in slimes. Like look at this. Look at if I get in close to it, boom, it slums in slimes. But literally, the funny thing is you have to get literally like, so close to it, like you're like inside of the mob in order for it to summon slimes. Like, look, if I get no close, if I don't, if I get like there, it won't summon in slimes. But if I get inside of it, it will summon slimes. So, something that's going to be worked on definitely in the future. So, let's kill all these slimes. This is a pain in the neck because they're literally, they're, they're rebuilt. Oh, my sword! <laughs> my sword! <laughs> Can you? Oh my gosh, look at all the slime balls. Man, savage commands. Alright, man, savage. It's so savage. Oh my gosh. So, and as you can tell, I put the command over here because of its massive size. Now, let's collect all these slime balls and we'll move on to the next mob, which is the Soul Key. Oh gosh, which is the Soul Keeper. The Soul Keeper has another mob spawning ability, doesn't have an area of effect cloud this time. It's going to be summoning your very own little vex friends, yeah! So basically, the way I've been thinking about this to work is, I've, I tried this out, it's very uncontrollable. Very, very uncontrollable. You're about to see how many vexes this thing can spawn in. So before I do, let's sew up what this thing looks like. Now for some odd reason, the Soul Keeper's tag is not appearing on top of it, but as you can see, it's invisible, 
has invis his glowing effect, has enchanted stone sword, can drop the nether star, and he has just some basic armor. Now he does have, I believe, 70, yeah, he's 70 health, so pretty good fight. I mean, it's gonna get harder once you add the ability. You see, drops rotten flesh, and basically it's just a, it's just a husk, re like, remodeled and stuff. It's just a husk, guys. So, if only to prove that I can, so, boom, summon in a soul, soul kill, or soul keeper, and then use this command, and it, it kills only the soul keeper, because it is a husk. Now, let's add these abilities to it. And by the way, I know I keep doing the same thing for each mob. I'm doing this only because I tried this once with the um, Wither Guardian, this one method once, and it didn't work. So I'm using these simple area, area of effect abilities that just work so much better, are a little bit more easy for me, and it makes videos like twice, 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 bleh, twice the amount of length that they already are. So let's get to this next mob. So, well, no, the Soul Keeper. It's pretty cool. Now, Soul Keeper. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm getting all these like custom heads and stuff and banners and stuff like for the Skeleton Knight. By the way, that was that was helped by Mr. Videotape Collector Man 2015. He helped me with the, well, he didn't, well, he had the original idea of the Skeleton Knight, so thank him for that idea. I just sort of made my own little Skeleton Knight, and he had some special abilities, he just summed errors above him. But the original idea was by my Mr. Videotape Collector Man, so, and, um, by the way, go check out his channels before we move on. You better go check his channel out in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you didn't check out his channel, wow. Okay, sorry. I'm just, I'm just kidding. You have to. You have to. Please, I'll, leave, I'll even leave his channel in the description if you want to. <laughs> I'm just begging you. Okay, sorry, I'm being a weirdo today. But literally, I tried to record this video another time, and then I seriously failed the sec because I kept getting, like, called. I don't even know, because... Uh, I'm, okay, I'm going to stop pressing C for once. Alright, so let's get this command. So, execute at E. And if I can remember the tag, I think it's... Soul, soul keeper. That's I think that's the tag, and then coordinate, 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 and then execute at P. Let's see. Let's say R. The range is five blocks. I forgot to put an equal sign there. R equals five blocks, and then coordinate, 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 and then. Let's see, summon vexes, because I remember I told you this is what it was going to summon in, and this vexes will be summoned in right above your head, so I set that to always active, and if I get in raised to five blocks of this new mob, the soul keeper, like literally, if you see, oh no, I can't, because then it'll ruin it, but if it, it looks like he's holding like a really small dagger, like, we're not, we're not close to him, like, but if I zoom in, he does, because it zooms in, so... Boom, let's get a little bit closer, and as you can see, vexes have been summoned in above my head. Now, uh, if you were fighting this mob for real, oh, not a bull, this is the re correct way to take this guy out, so you don't get vexes to get summoned in. I mean, you can go full-on melee with this guy, but if you do, then this will happen. It'll just con constantly summoning in Oh, stupid rain. It's going to constantly keep summoning in vexes, and then eventually there's going to be so many vexes that the entity count will soar through the roof, and I don't even think entities will be able to summon in anymore because all these vexes replaced them. So, the correct way to take out the soul keeper is to take him out from a range of standing the stupid vexes instead. Also, be careful when you're summoning in the sky, or when you find the sky, and don't get too close to him because this happens as well. So, I'm just going to take him out melee because it's taking forever. So, he... Oh, okay, he died. He didn't drop his nether star. But you can see there are so many vexes. So, I'm just going to kill all these vexes. Where's the command? Vexes. All right, all vexes have died. <laughs> oh! Hello, Mr. Enderman. You're pretty... You're you're nice. I, I, I like that. So... Last mob we're going to be showcasing today is the Electro Ranger. Now, if you if if Alex actually posts the um the um the Egg Wars video he did, I was telling you how like, a little bit of details 
about this guy, and if you didn't watch the video, he might not post it, but boom, this, my friends, is the Electro Ranger. The Electro Ranger is a basic zombie, he's got a, basically, he's got a golden sword, a golden nugget, that does, the gold, the golden nugget does nothing, and he has some basic golden armor, now don't take that for an underestimate thing like he's it's still pretty powerful this is a diamond sword see diamond sword is not retextured i'm not that advanced yet but if you take out the elect see it's not that it's not that easy and it's gonna get even harder when you okay so i kill the mob it also drops rotten flesh and then it drops its armor sometimes though so let's get coding this mob in and then we can finally Probably, at the end of this episode, we're gonna fight all six of them. That's right, all six of them. We're probably gonna die. Of course we're gonna die, but, um, let's get coding this mob so we can get to the more fun part. So, execute at E. Now, this one, oh no, that was this old Slime King. The old Slime King one was a very long tag. It's just so long. Electro. If I can just remember. Oh, not night. Ranger, Ranger. So when I was thinking about names for this mob, I was actually going to call it the Electro Knight, but I thought of a different name, which was the Electro Ranger, and I thought it was better name because I already had a mob called the Skeleton Knight. So just to, just so I don't like have so many mobs called knights, so I can have a variety. And let's make this R equals four blocks because four this is it's gonna summon in lightning bolts so summon lightning bolt it's a little bit new for 1.11 so and then it'll summon in right above you and set to always active and let's summon in one of these guys boom as you can see he has been summoning in lightning all around him and by the way there's no sound because and because I turned it all, I turned it all off. But I need to give this guy. I need to change some things about him. He has extreme jump boost. He summons in lightning, like I just showed you. But he also damages him like a lot. So I need to make him have, like, you see, that's gotta be fixed because someone can just literally go up to him, and be like, "Hey, I can just stand right here and raise the four blocks and just let it slowly die because it's gonna get struck by lightning." So in the future. He's going to have fire resistance, which will, will protect him. You see, as soon as I summon him in, he's just going to do whatever that is. So, let's just kill this guy quickly so we can showcase the other new mob, or the other new mobs, all together. So, killed him, and let's just grab just a diamond sword. Just a diamond sword. So, game mode zero. And let's do this. So, we're gonna die to this guy immediately, so, let's see. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna do this in creative mode first, because this is just gonna be so hard. So, Tarantu Chomper, he's, he's from the last video, but his range is so far all of a sudden. You see, oh my, ugh, no, 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 oh my gosh, these evocation fangs are just weird. Alright, gotta hit the button, hit the button, alright. Move out of the way so I don't kill the Electro Ranger. Uh, the Skeleton Knight. Get out of the way so we don't summon in his arrows. And the with awe, dang it. And the old Slime King. And that is all the new mobs. Oh wait, no. Effect. RP Brine. Clear. I need to um. I need to summon in this last mob, the Soul Keeper. Just, just let me summon in the Soul Keeper. Oh, okay, so the mobs are using so much of their fix. There we go. Soul Keeper's been summoned in. Okay, a few, clear all effects. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna fight all these mobs now. So game mode zero. Alright. Who should we go for first? I feel like we should take out either the Slime King or the... Okay, plan of action. We're going to take out the Soul Keeper first. We're definitely gonna, ah, yeah, we're de we're gonna take out the Soul Keeper first. So, I mean, it's actually, no, the Electro Ranger. Ow, ow, uh, and I died. <sighs> I died. 
So you can tell those are very, very hard mobs to kill. I mean, where did I drop my sword? Oh, stupid effects. Clear. Where did I even put it? So let's just, oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> Accidentally killed the, um, trying to chomp, but that's a free kill. So that has pretty much been it, guys. This is the, oh, the, um, oh, come on. So this has been, oh, you know what? This is just being stupid. Clear, kill, I just want to kill everything. Kill at E. Everything's done. It's so sad. But now, that has been, now I can do a proper intro, or outro. This has been, well, this episode has been, the old slime king with magical abilities to try to slay you. The soul keeper that summons in many ghosts to try to kill you in your sleep. The skeleton, oh, nope, not skeleton knights. The skeleton knight that will surprisingly summon in slowness arrow to an attempt to assassinate you. The, uh, what is this? The electro knight that will zap you with any source of electricity around. The tarantula chomper that will eat you up if you get too close. And finally, the oldest one of them all, the wither guardian. The ultimate descendant of the wither and will try anything to obey his master. But anyway, guys, did you like Did you like that? That was amazing. So anyway, guys, that has been the six new mobs in the um, Magma Bundle. So please subscribe. Please. It's amazing because I've done all this work for you guys. I love doing it. And you should. You should love it too. Because it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time for some of these things. Like, I mean... These like the the bot the, the the um the the mob the mobs don't take much time, but um this making them spawning in correctly, like the magic abilities and the mobs themselves are not e are not hard, but making them summon in by themselves that's gonna be hard. So I'm gonna have a little bit more training, and um next episode I might do one mob, but next episode you're going to see a new magic item you can add to your 1.11 worlds. Now, it's probably going to be something, I'm thinking about what it's going to be, and I think I know what I'm going to do. So, I'm not going to tell you, so I'll just leave you in suspense for the rest of the day. Well, I posted this at night, so the rest of the night, goodbye.